It's 1992 and Johnny Carson, host of the coveted Tonight Show, is retiring. The Johnny Carson era is over. Johnny Carson has stepped down as king of late night television. After years of speculation, rumors, cocktail party conversations and just plain old gossip, Johnny Carson has finally made it official. He is not going to stay on television forever. It's coming to an end, you know, next year. I, I, I've always wanted to be a shepherd. <laughs> but we have not made that announcement yet as to who the successor to Johnny will be. At the time, there were two suitable candidates. The first being Jay Leno, Carson's exclusive guest host. Ladies and gentlemen, Fred has just told me Doc was three seconds late introducing me tonight. I may lose my title as permanent guest host. Boy, <laughs> God. And David Letterman, host of his own program, Late Night, which had directly followed Carson's show for a decade. Has David ever told you that he hopes that I get run over by a sparklets water delivery truck <laughs> so, so he can get the 11.30 time period on NBC? Yes, he talks about it frequently. <laughs> the battle was fierce and very close. But in the end, David Letterman got passed over and NBC chose Jay Leno. Jay Leno! Letterman didn't like this decision. He clearly had the view that he was next in line, so he left the network. Show host David Letterman is denying reports that he is livid that he was passed over to replace Johnny Carson. David Letterman's arrival on CBS has been hailed and heralded like little else we've ever seen. Uh, as some of you may know, uh, for the last year and a half, uh, I've, I've kind of been interested in uh, doing a show a little earlier than the one I'm doing now. I would like to uh, I'd like to thank the uh, the good folks uh, here at CBS for taking the low key approach to promoting this show. <laughs> NBC did not see this coming, but now there's an opening. They need a host for 12:30, and everyone's like, "Who's going to replace Dave?" And what they the affiliates were getting nervous, so NBC had an idea, which is to stall. And to keep the affiliates calm, we'll just tell them Lorne Michaels is going to figure it out. Lorne Michaels, the executive producer of SNL, calls Conan, a writer he hired for SNL back in 1988, who is now working at Fox as a writer for Simpsons. And the phone rings and it's Lorne. And um, he, Lorne at first is talking to me about being um, the kind of head writer. Right. So Jeff will be the producer who makes right. it all happen. And then I bow out. I say, you know what? Mm -hmm. I remember having an anxiety attack, a really strong anxiety attack, right. and thinking, I just can't do this. But later, Lorne Michaels calls him again. This time, he offers Conan something different. Look, I know you don't want to do it, but would you be interested in going to an audition? Now, I had a panic attack at that, to right. see I did that I would audition because I was a writer. I thought, well, what's the worst that could happen if mm -hmm. I audition? I'm not going to get it, but I'm right. interested in this getting yeah. out in front of people. <clears throat> So that's when the next thing I know, I'm told by Lauren, okay, we're going to test you. Like how models do that all the time. Because it right. is physically very hard work. It's not that bad. It's a, you've, done, you've done a lot, okay. I've done a lot of catalog stuff, mostly. <laughs> uh -huh. See, that, that, it is hard work, long hours. No, it, it seems, you know, like it would be hard. No, it doesn't. People always say that. People always say it's you tough to be like a model. No, like I'm turning a big crank I'm is tough. I'm not talking about that. <laughs> <You know? laughs> Lauren calls me and says, that went well. And I went, oh. yeah, because he was watching in New York. And mm -hmm. he goes, but it's going to be Shadling. Yeah. The same thing that he had told Jeff. He said, look, mm -hmm. it's not going to be you. You're not going to get 1230. But you did yourself a lot of good. Which made sense. As at the time, Conan was a complete unknown. No one knew who he was, except some writers. So no one really expected him to get the position. But surprising the India New York. 30-year-old Conan O'Brien begins his stint in late night TV. If you're thinking to yourself, Conan who? You're not alone. It's a very, very steep learning curve, you know, to go from not being on television to being on television five, five nights uh, a week. Would you say that, that uh, this is rather unusual uh, for you to, uh, without any other performing experience, lots not of writing? Not true. I had a late night talk show in the late 70s. Where? Okay, I lied. Uh, <laughs> I talked mm -hmm. to a couple of people up at uh, Saturday Night Live who all say he's a very funny man. Uh, not a lot of, again, on-camera experience, but he's a very funny guy. The only thing I do know about Conan O'Brien, I already killed a guy. That's what no! I heard. No, you're making that up. I heard he killed a guy. No, That's all. I don't know. Mr. Conan O'Brien, come on out here. How you doing? Good to see you.
<laughs> you know, yeah. Dave Letterman is a legend here at NBC, and if there's anything that's fun to do, it's replacing <laughs> legends at NBC. <laughs> But there was a small problem, which was that Fox wasn't ready to let Conan go. Because then NBC started to get into it with Fox, and Fox was like, excuse me, he's I, under contract. Oh. I, I can't believe it. <gasps> so uh, NBC and I, I think, had, I think I had to take... You had to pay money. I had to pay money, and oh. NBC had to pay money to get me out of my wow. Simpsons contract. Wow. Oh. That's crazy, because yeah, at the time, you. these shows were making so much money. It's September 13, 1993. The first episode of Late Night with Conan O'Brien premiered. Now, here's your host... Conan O'Brien! And let's just say, people didn't find him funny. The critics started attacking Conan mercilessly. One critic from the Washington Post named Tom Shales even wrote, O'Brien is a living collage of annoying nervous habits. <laughs> he giggles and titters, jiggles about and fiddles with his cuffs. He has dark, beady little eyes like a rabbit. He's one of the whitest white men ever. <laughs> Shut up. O'Brien is a switch on the guest who won't leave. He's the host who should never have come. Let the late show with Conan O'Brien become the late, late show, and may the host return to Conan Oblivion whence he came. It wasn't looking good. And on top of all of this, the next two years, is us year and a half. two and a half no, no no year and a half too we're in terrible terrible danger of being yeah. canceled any right. second we were Just canceled fear. at one point but also justified fear because yeah there was we yeah. were i mean you've said it, it it was week to week for it a while was... even after two years the show's ratings were not improving the staff was starting to feel burnt out the affiliates were getting impatient and most importantly conan was starting to have doubts when all odds were against him something unexpected happens my first guest tonight called this studio home for 11 years and it is a real pleasure to welcome him back ladies and gentlemen David Letterman. To have him come on the show back when he didn't do other people's shows and say nice things gave me a boost. It made me think, if David Letterman is complimenting me and thinks we're doing something right, snap out of it and just double down and work even harder. Initiating a helmet and boot rockets. There we go. Matt, let's get the letter and save Lincoln! With each new episode, Conan was making the late night show his. Every episode felt different, as you couldn't tell what crazy or wacky idea he would try next. If I broke this, would anybody care? Nope. By 2000, Late Night with Conan O'Brien was one of the top rated tonight shows, consistently attracting an audience averaging about 2.5 million, largely young males, a demographic that was very attractive for other networks that were interested in starting their own late night show. So when in 2001, the contract between NBC and Conan came to an end. Where Fox TV came to you, you were hosting uh, the, uh, the, the you know, late show with uh, Conan O'Brien. Yeah. Fox came to you and said, we're going to give you 20, something crazy, $28 yeah, million dollars crazy. to jump over to Fox. Yeah. A huge offer. So Conan went to NBC and said, I want the 1130 spot. If I don't get the 1130 spot, I'm going to become a free agent. And other networks are going to offer me the 1130 spot. Right. And NBC said, listen, we want, to, we want to keep Jay on. We want you to be the 1130 host. What we'll do is we'll make a deal in five years. We'll give you The Tonight Show. Conan had to make a choice. Should he stay at NBC and wait five years or take the 20 million, go to Fox and host a show there at 11.30? You said, I'll fuck the $21 million. Fuck you, Fox. I'll stay with NBC because I want that Tonight Show. Yeah. I want my shot. By the way, did you hear this? That Conan O'Brien is taking over The Tonight Show? Did you hear that? When, when does that happen? It happens in uh, <laughs> 2009. Uh, about six months ago, I sat down here with the folks at NBC. They said, listen, we would like to do five more years. I said, great. I'd love to do five more years. Five years from now, yeah, Jay Leno has decided he's stepping down after, uh, in, in five years. Jay Leno stepping down? Yeah, it's apparently getting to him. Uh, there's all talk about Conan O'Brien. Will he go to ABC? Will he go to one of these other networks? And, and they came to me and they said, we don't want to lose Conan O'Brien. And I said, oh, okay, what does that mean? And they said, uh, well, um... We think Conan would be a good replacement, as I do. Conan is a gentleman, funny, the hottest late night guy out there. Excellent. And I said, you know something? Conan, it's yours. 
see you in five years, buddy. Okay. Clear enough. Fast forward five years and everything goes according to plan, except for a small, a really small thing. I don't know what I did uh, to deserve the opportunity to do this. Uh, there are people uh, that have hosted these kinds of shows who are, uh, I'm sure, better than I am. Nobody has ever, ever enjoyed it more than uh, I do. We're going on to this next gig. And sometimes I read that it's time for Conan to grow up because he's going to 1130. And I assure you, that's just not going to happen. I, I just want to say I couldn't be happier. You were the only choice. You were the perfect choice. You have been an absolute gentleman in private Conan and in the, in, in the press. I agree. Conan rocks. Good luck next week, my friend. Jay, thank you for everything. Oh, Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to The Tonight Show with Conan O'Brien. Yeah. Thank you. Remember the small problem I mentioned earlier? It was that NBC didn't mean it when they said they were firing Jay Big Joe Leno. No, no, what I meant to say was that Jay Big Joe Leno didn't mean it when he said he was retiring. When, when uh, five years ago, when uh, NBC said to Jay, you know what, Conan's going to take over your job in five years, that's when you say, okay, fine, no hard feelings. You call ABC, you call Fox, you try to get my job, you leave, you don't, you don't. You know, I never asked you this, but Good. when when you did leave The Tonight Show, there must have been offers to do opposite the Tonight Show show from Fox or something. There were. There were a lot. You know. Why didn't you do it? The, I'm pretty loyal. I don't. What? Loyal to these assholes who fired you? They realized really quickly that if you announced your retirement, that ABC, CBS, and Fox, you're there for the poaching. Right. Right. So right away they say to you, as soon as they realize that, and he said, well, suppose we gave you a show at 10 o'clock. I said, 10 o'clock talk shows don't work. It didn't work for Cavett in 68. It, it doesn't work. If you pay my staff for two years, regardless of what happens, I'll do it. Because I think they were keeping me in case Conan didn't work out. Not a big deal. But if you know anything about television or ratings, you know it's not a small thing. And then oh. Jay, who knows a lot about television, a lot about TV ratings, maybe more than anyone I've ever met. I'll bet. Was offered the 10 p.m. slot. Now, Which they don't job? have to violate Conan's contract. Mm -hmm. Jay knew that lead-in is hugely important. The Tonight Show with Conan O'Brien premieres on June 1, 2009. You know, uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is a huge night for me. I remember watching Johnny Carson when I was a kid and thinking, that's what I want to be when I grow up. And I'm sure right now, somewhere in America, there's a little kid watching me thinking, what is wrong with that man's hair? <laughs> is the show started off strong, attracting a sizable audience of 9 million. But as more episodes aired, viewership began to decline, and older audience gradually tuned off the program. It tanked even more when the Jay Leno show began. Radio call at 1 a.m. that said, Grandma's drunk and ready to fight. The Jay Leno Show, new comedy at 10, 9 central. And Jay completely sabotaged him. By going on at 10 o'clock, they gave Jay all the best guests. Right. They took away all of Conan O'Brien's excitement and thunder. Right, and they then there's, but there's also him. no lead-in between 10 and 11 because their audience is gone. He knew that doing his show would have maybe half those ratings, turn out to be like a third. And even if that show failed, it would make The Tonight Show's ratings drop. And that's what happened. Uh, that didn't work. And then, uh, you know, I was, oh, Leno deliberately sabotaged his show to try and get The Tonight Show. No, that, that doesn't work. It doesn't work that way. You try and do the best you can, and, and we, it didn't work. With two failing shows in their hand, NBC had to come up with something. Or everything they built until now will be lost. And the idea they came up with was to move Leno back to 11.35 and O'Brien to 12.35 to the time slots they had before. NBC was really proud of this idea. But not everyone was a fan of it, especially Conan. When they uh, announced that, well, okay, maybe we're going to uh, slide Conan over to accommodate this other gentleman who's having his difficulties in another time period, and I won't get into specifics, you'll have to look it up. Um, <laughs> And, uh, and I said, um, you know what, that doesn't really work for me, I think, in a fairly polite way. You know, they said, you're moving to 12.05. And he said, well, I'm not going to follow Jay on right. The Tonight Show. Right. What are you going to do about yeah, it? You can't, yeah. yeah! Ah! <laughs> what are you going to do about it? <laughs> Did you expect NBC to give you more of a chance? Absolutely. <laughs> I, yes.
in the midst of all of this drama conan wrote a letter to the public in which he said and i quote I sincerely believe that delaying the tonight show into the next day to accommodate another comedy program will seriously damage what I consider to be the greatest franchise in the history of broadcasting. The Tonight Show at 12:05 symbolizing the Tonight Show. The conflict dragged on for a while until Conan and NBC came to an agreement. An agreement that will see Conan retire from the Tonight Show for an amount of 40 million, 12 million of which will be handed to his employees to support them until they find another job. Conan O'Brien is leaving NBC and the Tonight Show. His farewell is tomorrow night. Conan O'Brien will be leaving NBC. Jay Leno will take back the Tonight Show and Jimmy Fallon will stay in his time slot. Conan won't be leaving empty-handed though. He'll reportedly receive a huge buyout and will be free to start another show on another network. Now, we've had we've had a uh, we've had a lot of fun being here these last 7 months, but like everything in life, the fun has to come to an end. a decade too early after his departure from NBC I oh, I was and am legally uh, prohibited from appearing on television radio uh and doing performances on the internet so I was just literally like a a prisoner in a 14th century cell this was one of the darkest periods of his life and the only way he knew to make things better was to return to work but he can't since he's banned the options were limited but he wasn't ready to sit around so he assembled a lot of his old staff <laughs> opened a twitter yes. account that's the tweet and began planning a nationwide comedy tour i sent out one tweet that directed people to a uh, website where you could buy your ticket that was it and the show sold out in a couple of hours across the country Conan O'Brien starting a 30 city tour next month is calling it the legally prohibited from being funny on television tour O'Brien is taking his act on the road the former host of the Tonight Show announced a 30 city international tour the legally prohibited from being funny on television tour You know doing this tour though this is a huge milestone for me this is the first time anybody has ever paid to see me Can you believe that? Yeah. This is great. In 6 months I've gone from hosting the Tonight Show to performing at a refugee camp. The tour was a huge hit and Conan was back on his feet, but the question still remained. What will Conan do? Many speculated that O'Brien would sign a deal with Fox, Comedy Central, or HBO. But to everyone's surprise, Conan, I think you'll find our terms very attractive. We have a deal. Now, welcome to my new show. It's called Conan. This is an exciting night. I'm really glad to be on cable. I have to tell you that right now. That's not a joke. No, the truth is, ladies and gentlemen, I have dreamed of being a talk show host on basic cable ever since I was 46. <laughs> Shattering all expectations, Conan attracted 4 million views, tripled the audience of its direct competition, The Daily Show, and The Colbert Report on Comedy Central. Oh, I do not look down my nose at cable, and I think anyone who does isn't paying attention. to television these days because it is this world is changing very quickly. You got 30 million dollars that you didn't have before. You got a a, a very lucrative new uh, gig on TBS which has mm-hmm. a an audience that uh, very young audience custom made for you. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, it wasn't all bad. That's the point I keep making. It's crucial to me that Anyone seeing this take they take anything away from this it's please do not be cynical i hate cynicism for the record it's my least favorite quality it doesn't lead anywhere nobody in life gets exactly what they thought they were going to get but if you work really hard and you're kind amazing things will happen i'm telling you amazing things will happen Oh, and speaking of hosts, I also want to congratulate Conan O'Brien on 28 years of very funny late night television. Conan wrapped up his show on on TBS tonight. Conan is a dear friend and a lovely fella who has been nothing but a strength and a great source of advice for me as I took over a late night show, and I want to congratulate him on 24 incredible years and several perfectly fine ones as well. So uh my advice to anyone uh watching right now and it's not easy to do it is not easy to do it's not easy to do but try try and do what you love with people you love
And if you can manage that, it's the definition of heaven on earth. I swear to God, it really is. So good night. Thank you very much.